But what do you think, Lori? Lori's uh, had a work on the stage tonight. What do you think? Well, I think I'll share from the perspective of the dancer, if I might. <laughs> In terms of preparation, I think for the dancers, you know, it's a whole different kind of preparation that the dancer has to receive a work than the choreographer has to plan the work. Um, certainly from a, a technique standpoint, you know, we spend hours and hours talking about plies and tendus and releves and arabesques, and we work really hard to perfect that technique, but then also we have to have this other element of performance. And um, I think when we have a really fantastic teacher, we get to, to meld those things, that performance element and technique element in the classroom so that we're not sort of shell-shocked when we get to a moment where a choreographer is inspired and says, I want da 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 and you have to do something that looks remotely like da 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 By the way, he teaches in song. <laughs> so I tend to do that too sometimes, don't I? <laughs> but, so there's a whole different, um, you know, preparation from that technique thing, but then also from performance in that you have to, you know, do what Jeremy was talking about, bring your story and bring something to the room, you're often a muse, you know, you're, you're a point of inspiration. And so you walk a fine line between doing exactly what the choreographer wants, because they have this very specific idea in their mind, and this taking risks and maybe stretching something a bit farther and giving something that they didn't ask for, and waiting to Maybe, maybe get hit back. <laughs> or maybe have the moment of excitement where they go, oh, keep that. I like that. Thank you. And so that's, we had a very fun challenge. Because <laughs> in fact, that piece was done with about, what, 20? Yeah. Somewhere around there. 20, 20 odd dancers. Um, and, and they actually performed it at the Anvil back in July. And in fact, I was not here for that performance. So we had set this work in April and May. We had about five one-hour sessions together that we created the work in. And, um, and then I, I had to give it away at the beginning of June and say, have fun. <laughs> and they perform it in July. And then, of course, now, months later, come back to it and came back as this really tight ensemble of six. Um, and, and really sort of created a new work. I mean, the, the structure, the work is the same, but it's different. Um, and um, I think from a process standpoint, um, hmm, how did we approach that? Some of them had been taking classes with me, you know, outside of this, but some of them had no other experience of me than those five hours. Um, so for me, what I had to do was give them a vocabulary that they could latch on to. So the first, uh, well, there are at least two sessions where we really kind of worked themes, actually. Um, and so I would give them some movement vocabulary to work with. And really, just like learning a language, you sort of learn you know, the letters and then the words, the vocabulary, the grammar, and how to put things together. And so we sort of pieced things together in that way so that they could feel really competent and comfortable with what they were doing. And then I just started throwing things at them. Like, okay, 